What's up guys, Dave here. That sounded like Peter McKinnon. That's, that's his. I shouldn't do that. <laughs> What's up guys, Dave here with Amari Productions and I'm about 90% of the way through editing this week's vlog and I just realized that nowhere in the footage did I actually introduce myself or introduce the video. So I am killing it at the vlog game. This week we are talking about a destination wedding in the city that inspired the movie Coco. Alright, let's jump in. Cue the intro music. Or whatever. Nailed it. I was storyboarding out this film last night, thinking through my morning errands and how like that would be great fodder for a vlog montage of just, I don't know, mediocre daily life. And then I remembered that the topic of this week's video is the most vibrant, beautiful city in all of Mexico. So... I've got to do a better job at managing my time on vlog days because it is already 4.15. There are actually two very interesting uh, angles to this wedding. But first, let's cover the one in the title. Coco, specifically the land of the dead. That place, this place, is based off a very real city, Guanajuato. So just a quick aside, uh, when Patty first started talking to us about her wedding, I noticed she was saying Guanajuato differently than I would presume to say it. So I looked it up, uh, and yeah, you're, apparently you're supposed to say it Guanajuato, not Guanajuato. But also recognize that I am so bad at foreign language that in college, my Italian professor gave me a sympathy C after I told her that it was the last semester of Italian I had to take for my major. And that was before we'd even taken the final. Let's be honest, we both knew what I was getting on that test. <laughs> this isn't actually our office, but I just figured out today that the, oh, that the deck in this building is publicly accessible. But let's get out of here before they kick us out. Shane, you gonna go hard on the three day old donut bar donuts? It's aged like wine apparently, so we're on the street, so. You know, I don't think that that's how. <laughs> hmm. I would say it's still a, a solid 8 out of 10. Wow! <laughs> yeah, make sure you put the drone back on top. <laughs> you should put the drone deliver it on that. You can call it drone Oh. Stop it. Genius. <laughs> Go home. This genius. <laughs> You're done for the day. Get out. The second interesting angle to this wedding is music. This is really one of the only times that we've ever had a wedding where we have two films that have two totally different musical directions. So what that affords us is the opportunity to really analyze and really see and feel what difference music makes. I also just remembered that I parked in a two hour parking spot today because I thought I was gonna leave in a couple hours and I definitely ended up working all day. So I 100% have a parking ticket right now, I guarantee it. Moment of truth, moment of truth on whether or not I have a parking ticket. I'm right here but I haven't seen my windshield yet. You guys wanna do this with me? Let's do it together. Keep in mind it's a two hour spot and I've been here for six hours. Is there no parking tip? Oh my god, I got away with it. Oh my god. <laughs> got him. Okay, that time lapse totally distracted me. And I forgot to finish introducing the sneak peek. So without further ado, oh, wow. here's the senators. So without further ado, here's the sneak peek, and then meet me on the backside where we will talk about the highlight film and how we approached that differently.
because that music was so up tempo and was so complex and dense and just had a lot going on and was really fun, upbeat, that allowed us to do things like quick cuts, that allowed us to do things like those tiling uh, elements that you saw, that even allowed us to do something I don't think we've ever done before. I don't know that we've ever done since. We, we took a drone shot, we sped it up, and then we layered it with a first dance clip to create a visual that felt like it fit with the beat drop. Because in that beat drop, what I'm feeling is like a boom, like kind of like this like motion. I, I probably look like an idiot doing that, but hopefully that's conveying what I mean. So I wanted a visual to match that. And on the night of their wedding, I took the drone out and just started flying it at night. I was like, I don't know what the heck we'll do with this footage. And I was just playing around. And I remember getting this shot where I was flying over the mine. Oh, that's right. They got, their reception was in a mine. Have I told you that yet? Have we explicitly talked about the fact that their reception is in an actual old silver mine? I don't think we've talked about that yet. Their reception was in an old silver mine that looked like a castle straight out of Game of Thrones. Anyways, at the reception, as I was uh, flying around, I did this shot where I flew over the reception and like dipped the camera down. Tilt would be the correct technical term. Tilted the camera down. And I remember as I was shooting it, I was like, this is taking way too long to develop. We'll never use the shot. It's like mellow dramatic. It's just, it's too much for a, for a wedding film. I'm very glad that I shot it because we ended up speeding it up to make it even more dramatic. So all these little things that we can do when the music fits that mood, fits that style. I feel like it's getting too dark to keep filming and I need to run back into the office to get my charger. So let's wrap this up at home. Three-year-old got a new bike. She's already flying on her push bike and keeps asking for pedals. Gets visibly sad when she sees a kid with pedals and her bike doesn't have pedals. So we got her a pedal bike. Okay, let's talk about the highlight film. Uh, right away, you are going to notice the space. There's so much more of it with a longer, more intimate song. There's so much more time to settle into the sights and sounds of the city. So right away, you can start to see the pros and cons of each musical approach uh, and each edit look. The 60 second film with the... The 60 second film with upbeat music brings the energy immediately, which is a great hook uh, I can almost guarantee you that all of your family and friends, and probably even some people that you don't know, will watch that 60 second film in its entirety, uh, without even necessarily consciously choosing to do so, uh, because they're hooked. On the other hand, the four to six minute highlight just asks you to sit still for like one minute. Give it a second. Let it paint you a picture. Let it set the scene. It's not that that song's not going to get big. These songs get as big as they come. They just want to build, to tell a story. Give it that extra time and when that swell does climax, it's gonna give you goosebumps.
Yo Luis Alonso. Te acepto a ti, Patricia. Te acepto a ti, Patricia. Como mi esposa. Como mi esposa. Y prometo serte fiel. Y prometo serte fiel. En las alegrías y en las penas. En las alegrías y en las penas. En la salud y en la enfermedad. En la salud y en la enfermedad. Y amarte y respetarte. Y amarte y respetarte. Todos los días de mi vida. Todos los días de mi vida. Yo, Patricia. Yo, Patricia Mariel. Te acepto a ti, Luis Alonso. Te acepto a ti, Luis Alonso. Como mi esposo. Como mi esposo. Y prometo serte fiel. Y prometo serte fiel. En las alegrías y en las penas. En las alegrías y en las penas. En la salud y en la enfermedad. En la salud y en la enfermedad. Y amarte y respetarte. Y amarte y respetarte. Todos los días de mi vida. Todos los días de mi vida.